you got the look of a miner about you. Maybe when the new contracts finally open up, you'll give it a go. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. spare parts. Look elsewhere. I need mine for structural stability. Okay. I can see you serious. That all you mind is really gonna bolster our numbers. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. If this is going to involve paperwork, then I have to let you know that suddenly my hands are just useless. Deimos is more than a story yard. It's a symbol of the UC. Deimos was exclusively a military contractor. Seeking a highly motivated individual to assist the executive in charge of mining operations and day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive assistant experience preferred, but not necessary. Must be willing to relocate to Sidonia. Internship is unpaid, with option for permanent role at end of contract. Duties and responsibilities. 
providing administrative assistance, which may include drafting and editing communications on the executive's behalf, and keeping memos, managing the executive's daily calendar, organizing meetings and appointments, performing minor accounting, required skills and qualifications, strong interpersonal skills, written and verbal communication skills, time management and organizational skills, ability to proactively solve problems and make decisions in the interest of the executive, ability to multitask. How many years of experience do you have as an executive, administrative, or other corporate assistant? Zero. One to four years. Five to ten years. Over ten years. What is the highest level of education you have completed? None. Secondary school. Bachelor's degree. Master's degree. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly to the best of your ability. The executive wants you to bring them a whiskey. Neat. What does that mean? Trick question. Executives aren't allowed to drink on the job. About 43 milliliters shot of whiskey served in a glass at room temp. A full glass of whiskey with two chilled whiskey stones. Two thimbles of whiskey, two drops of water in a chilled glass. A VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive, who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Entertain the client with jokes until the executive arrives. Reschedule the client's meeting with the exec for another time. Offer drinks. Apologize. Assure that the exec will return soon. Nothing. Never speak with the client without exec approval. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up, and they need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. What course of action do you take? Offer them use of your old banged up ship. Contact the client and cancel the meeting, rescheduling for another day. Use the company credits to immediately charter an expensive luxury craft. Get their ship towed to the shop. It's okay if they are late. While handling the executive's email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you do? Take the info to the board of directors so they can handle it. Ignore the email completely, then block the sender. Confront the exec and blackmail them in hopes of getting a big raise. Ask the executive how they want it handled, then never speak of it again. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they are drunk. What do you do? Immediately go to their office to take care of them until they sober up. Ignore them and go back to sleep. The executive probably won't remember. Contact security and let them deal with it. Go and do whatever they want, even if it would damage their character. Please be aware that all answers are final and will be reviewed when considering your application. If you would like to change an answer now, select the option to start over. Otherwise, proceed to submit application. Callum McLeish Thank you for your interest in demos and for submitting your application. We will review your skills and experience and let you know if we feel you are a good match for the position. We appreciate you choosing demos. Don't worry, we're gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look, see yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. I happen to know that the HR director Tia and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. That's the spirit? 
Believe me, this is going to help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Worry, we're gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. 